How many times when working on a deep learning or data science problem have you thought to yourself, I could use some more data <laughs> or I could use some more label data. In this video, I'll be showing you Label Genie, which is an app that makes creating and managing annotations or annotation tasks for different data sets really easy. So let's just jump into it and I'd love to show you what all this app currently supports. This is the home screen and as you can see, I can take a look at my data sets. And I can see all of the imported data sets here. I can create a new annotation task or I can head back to home where I can take a look at different annotation tasks, which maybe you or your team is working on. You can head over to a particular task and you can see the progress there. You can take a look at the stats, the rubrics. You can see how much of the labor, uh, data has been labeled. And you can get a really nice overview and resume the annotation process from there. This allows you to very easily supervise and review data annotations. You don't want, most of the times it's a good idea to review annotations being done. And this makes it really easy as you can see. So what I'll do now is I've loaded up a text CSV. It's actually a transcript of my conversation with Max Yeblet. So I'll import this data set. Uh, I'll create a new annotation task from it. And I'll add the labels that I want to create. Now I can simply start annotating and going through different examples where all I have to do is highlight different words. So for example, I'll highlight data science as a subject. I'll hide physics as another subject. And I think that's all for this example. So we'll continue further. I'll do this a bunch of times and we finally run into some algorithms subjectively. <laughs> so I'll annotate or mark these as algorithms. And we'll continue. Label Genie supports different uh, types of data sets, audio, text, as we just saw, and also images. And it also supports zero shot labeling by default. So let's look at another example where zero shot labeling comes in handy. So I've loaded in another data set where we're trying to identify traffic lights and traffic signs. And this time I have enabled zero shot labeling. Uh, note that by default, this is enabled. I had earlier disabled it for the purposes of the demo. And as you can see, even from the first example, I'm not just starting from scratch, uh, Label Genie by itself is able to identify traffic lights and traffic signs. So it makes my, my task of labeling these objects really easy. And I can just remove any false positives that I see. Uh, this one looks right, so we'll continue. And I can speed through all the examples and uh, not have to manually label all of these. So I, I get a really good starting point. It also supports audio classification and text classification. So here's another data set that contains reviews of different Amazon products. And the ratings range from one star to five star. So I've created these classes here and loaded up the data set. And as you can see here as well from the first example, you get some suggestions on different probabilities. This, let's take a look at a final example, this time a very simple one of classifying roads as good, okay, and bad. So you can see even in this example, we get some suggest suggestions and different probabilities of good, okay, and bad. I can review them and here's an example that looks good. So it was identified correctly, I'll continue. This one looks bad as well. So it's uh, we'll mark this as bad and continue. And we can speed through it like so. After we're done, we can head over to the annotation tab or we can review the progress of different annotations. So if you're working with a team of different folks or you would like to have a second layer of approval for the annotations, you can have a reviewer go through them. All of this is re made really easy in the UI. This app is right now available for early access on the App Store. We would love for you to check it out. Uh, all of the links I mentioned are in the description. We'd love to hear your feedback. And as I mentioned, it's in 
early access which also means it's in active development so we'd love to hear your feedback as well of any features you would like to see in this thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video